Ali. Here is the death metal flask issue. And I am not entirely sure I can review this one. It is a good comic, mostly. But I didn't think it is very easy to talk about. This was, or is, the comic that is setting out to resolve all the back and forth and editorial decisions that have befallen the flask, the Willie West version. And it was the part of death metal I was looking forward to the most. It was like the only reason I decided to buy into death metal. Open that they would salvage this character. So here we have backstory about how Willie West came back in DC Reborn. Then a double page spread giving us a very quick overview of his storyline since. Most of which I've seen him gan evil, then redeem himself and then gan evil again. And his latest time gan an evil when he became Manhattan Man from the best-selling graphic novel Watching Men that is almost completely retconned here. He no longer forgot who he was or lost his entire personality to become a big bad. And his task was to mend the timeline rather than fix the universe. But early on, Batman Who Does A Laugh discovered him. And I actually started reading this here, thinking it was part of the story. But it's just an advert for Snickers. Get some nuts in ya. So now we are back in the current day. And the three flasks, they are running away from Batman, who is a black tendril shadow design. Which people think is crap, but I am okay with. Because I like baddies who are like this. And this is why I think this is going to be a hard review. Most of this comic is just this. I have already summed up most of the comic. They are running away from a bad guy. It is an eye concept thing and it is fun. The more they run, the more they burn out the speed or force. And Batman, it was a black tendril shadow design, which people think is crap, but I am okay with because I like baddies who are like this. He sends some dark multiverse flasks after them. Uh, my main criticism is that the flask with the funny art, he gets it bad this issue. His contributions are slowing down or being the first to give up. Also, my other criticism is we have boring Miles Morales flask. He starts being virtuous and pure and he's never wrong. And I don't know what else to say about this. There is running and then there is some more running. And then there is some talking and talking about Willie West. And Barney Allen being boring about it. This is like the worst review ever, isn't it? So then what happens is they get some lame heavy metal redesigns that last about four pages. And then they get ready to run some more on your marks, get set, go. Uh, Batman, who is a black tendril shadow design, which people think is crap. But I am okay with because I like baddies who are like this. He continues to chase after them because he wants to steal Willie West's cosmic powers. Uh, the best bit is coming up though, so I might as well just skip to that. Oh, the flask with the funny art. He isn't fast enough and he gives up again. But eventually we get to a bit that is like a happy ending for Willie West. Here he is in his ad flask costume and we have a montage of the meaningful moments in his life and he gets to beat Batman who is a black tendril shadow design which people think is crap but I am okay with because I like baddies who are like this. He gets to Metroid's chair before him and then it is 
Happy times for happy people. Willie, he gans into the Speedo Force, where all his friends and family have escaped to. We get reunions with all of them, and everyone being nice and lovely to each other. And this would have been a nice point to end on. If this had been the last DC comic I bought, this would have been where it felt most appropriate to stop. Willie West, his character is redeemed and resolved. But there is a crossover going on, so let's run back into that storyline. If you are looking forward to my review of this, I am sorry. When I was reading it last night, I got halfway in and realised how unreviewer friendly it was. My choice was either quickly gun hour it the way I have, or get into the minutia of the big concept race. I do recommend this, I just didn't recommend reviewing it. I'm going to give this a 7 thumbs up.